What's up, what's up, y'all? I'm back. And I uh, got another video for y'all. Trying to get more serious on this league thing. I'm going to do my best to see if I can do at least one video a week. Um, and maybe even upload a full game. I'll do my best. But uh, in my last video, uh, I actually recorded that about a month ago. I just got to, you know, going and editing everything and getting everything together to uh, upload it. It's been kind of busy um, around the time I recorded it, so I finally got some time to go ahead and, you know, do what I need to do to get it up. So, uh, like I said, it's been about a month since I put up, well, since I recorded that video, so some things have changed. Uh, I know I was mentioning that I am, well, I was in Bronze 3, now I'm in Bronze 2. I should be in 1. Um, I got into series twice, and again to Bronze 1, and in both occasions, I had actually had an AFK, uh, so that was one game automatically lost, and then I just ended up losing uh, a second time for both of those, so I didn't get promoted, so I decided to just chill out a little bit on the rank, and uh, just take my time, um, playing some more champs, um, doing very well with Nautilus and Nami support, so now I guess I can say I got about four supports I'm pretty comfortable with. Um, I went ahead and I picked up Skarner actually about a couple of days ago and I'm doing very well with him, Jungle. Uh, you know, he was buff. They got this whole Juggernauts, uh, thing going on, you know, with, uh, Skarner, Garen, Darius, uh, Mordekaiser. I don't know if I'm missing anyone else, but, uh, trying to take advantage of that right now. Um, learning him. And, you know, last video I was... I was kind of ranting a few times about like some of the bullshit I go to, uh, I go through, as far as uh, with the rank system. You know, I, me believing that it's kind of unfair. Uh, so I wanted to go ahead and kind of throw out there my idea of what I think that Riot should do as far as implementing a system of, uh, you know, just reducing the just the stupidity, I guess that you know we go through as far as losing LP because of some shit that's not our fault um so before uh, I had mentioned I was I had mentioned the whole thing of um you know having like a champ select type of vote or you know just you know because sometimes when you get into champ select you may have that one person that doesn't cooperate I've had this plenty of times where someone wants to go a certain role and let's just say their last pick and they want to go, uh, let's just say mid or top lane. Now, you know, probably mid or top are probably the more um, popular roles to take. Bot lane will probably be the least popular. Um, and not everyone wants to go support. Like I said myself, I don't mind going support. I got uh, quite a few champs that I can say I'm pretty comfortable with. And I, I would prefer to support with somebody that I know, you know, via Skype. Uh, just so I know, you know, our strategy and everything. But, um, you know, if I have to support with a random, I don't mind. But, you know, some people, some people don't like supporting. Some people will, you know, go ahead and insta-lock with another champion that's not support saying, well, I'm going to go this role. And then it's like, okay, bro, it's pick order. Like, people, they'll go ahead and when, when we get into champ select, people will call, you know, such and such prefer. Usually I say Phil, especially if I'm like, uh, you know, four for a last pick, I'll just say Phil. I really don't care. Um, but, you know, some people, let's just say their last pick, they'll be like, I'm going mid. And then it's like first pick is like, well, I'm going to go mid. You know, unless that person's very generous <laughs> and the other four people that are picking before him are very generous, uh, you know, nine times out of ten, that last pick is not going to get mid lane. Uh, especially if someone before them picks uh, mid lane. So sometimes you'll go ahead and get that person that says, you know, fuck it, I don't care. I'm going to pick whatever the hell I want. I'm not going support. And you end up going, getting screwed because you got two people going mid lane because the guy that picked last didn't want to cooperate and you end up, you know, losing the game. Like it may work out. Sometimes it may work out. But. When you're starting to rage at, e at each other during champ select and at the beginning of the game, people are doing more typing than actual playing, so it just kind of screws everybody over because no one's really actually trying to 
focus on coming up with a strategy to win the game because of this, you know, this fault that this 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 person, you know, just kind of screwing us over. So you know, if they had like a some sort of a vote thing in Champ Select, so that way you know you have a person that's not cooperating that doesn't want to pick a role. You know, we can vote them, and um, that's let's just say maybe uh, they could lose the LP versus. Uh, having somebody have to dodge and then they lose an LP for no reason, or like I said, going having us going to the game and us losing because somebody didn't want to cooperate. Um, and same goes for uh, people that are trolling. Um, pretty sure, like for some reason, I don't know why people do this in rank, but you know, for some reason, some people like to come in and just troll and be stupid. They they say, hey, I'm gonna feed, made her feed, or such such and feed, and they just be stupid and freaking pick the most randomest shit like uh even though we ended up winning this game i had a, a instance where a guy um he he didn't say two words actually um like i was going ad carry and he went bard support and i'm like okay bards is support champ so i'm not i'm not tripping right now he gets in there he doesn't let me farm at all so I was behind him farm he didn't build support at him he didn't get a sight stone he was just there just I don't know and then we lost that game now I got into another game and the odds of this happening are ridiculous like I ended up getting on a team with that same guy because I remember that game that uh his name and we got in there and he was I think second or third pick and he picked Bard again but he was going mid lane so, I don't really, I'm not familiar with Bard at all, but I'm pretty sure he's not a mid lane champ. But we ended up winning that game. We just carried the hell out of him. Um, I think our top laner, I forget who, I can't remember the game. But they ended up uh, getting fed and we carried, he carried the game and we won. But, you know, just instances like that, you know, I knew that guy was going to troll the, the moment that he picked Bard going mid. And it's like, okay, this guy doesn't care. I told everyone to report him. They agree. We reported him. And then this guy decides to add me as a friend. I declined, of course. I'm like, bro, you're trolling. So, you know, something like that in Champ Select. And I'm hoping someone from Riot is taking note. I should have said this earlier. But someone from Riot take note of this. I mean, it really helped the community. Um, and if anyone, you know, wants to share this video or whatever, I don't know. Um, you know, just... <laughs> Try to help the community out and make everything a lot, like, go th make things go a lot smoother and ranked. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, another thing, um, you know, besides the champ select thing, you know, in game, uh, there's been plenty of times where people may AFK on purpose or DC may happen because of, you know, technical issues on that one person's side. Like, for instance, this morning. Now, I didn't play a game this morning, um, but, um, I was thinking about playing. I was like, well, you know, I got, uh, excuse me, a couple hours before I got to head into work. Hey, why not go and um, get a couple rent games out the way? Maybe I can get back in, in uh, series again. And I said, you know, and I'm, I'm just going to chill. I'm going to watch some videos on YouTube. And about 15, 20 minutes in, for some reason, the internet went out. I still don't know why. Like, I went downstairs and... The modem, it seemed to be working fine. I rebooted it. It took a little bit to get back, um, you know, get back working. I'm not sure what was wrong with it. It kept saying, like, it couldn't find the IP address. Now, I'm not a networking person, but, you know, <laughs> nine times out of ten, if something's broken, I usually go ahead and restart it just to see how that worked. That usually fixes about 70% of the problem, but, <clears throat> excuse me. But, yeah, like I said, that, that thing there, um... It went ahead, and I, if I happened to get in the game that time, um, if I got in the game, I, I would have been screwed because the internet stopped working. So is that my fault that my internet decides to stop working? Absolutely not. But, you know, I would feel bad if I ended up getting into a ranked game and then the other four people ended up losing because I wasn't there. And so, you know, like I said, some sort of system, even, even if, because uh, I was talking to my boyfriend about this, even if they were to implement a system where... Um, you know, let's just say there is a DC or someone that purposely AFKs. Um, 
you know, you're going to lose that game regardless. Especially, like, if you, everyone starts, like, flaming at each other. I mean, it's not impossible to win a 4v5. But let's just say, you know, the shit's just, it's done. It's over with. You lose. Now, I don't think it's fair that the entire team gets penalized by losing, you know, a large amount of uh, LP because someone dc You know, even... Even if we just decrease the amount of LP loss, you know, I'll be a little bit more satisfied with that. Um, but it just it just pisses me off because, like I said, there were those two times I was in series recently to get to bronze one, and in both cases I had a DC. I had um, let me see, my first the first time I was in series I had a mid lane and we had a Vigor. I remember this. Um, he was actually doing pretty good. He was. Um, I forget who he was going against, but he was doing pretty good in his lane. Um, and then all of a sudden, like maybe, I would say 25 minutes in, he just dc And I'm like, okay, well, we should be good. We Maybe he'll come back. And maybe about 15 minutes later, he never came back. And the enemy team ended up pushing us further and further into our base because there just wasn't enough people to, you know, defend towers and fight them off. And we ended up losing. Now, we could have won that game if everyone would have cooperated, but it just seems like people get dis discouraged when it's like, oh, damn, we're down a person, so we probably lost this. But, um, you know, I don't think I should have been penalized. Like, I know I was in series. It's probably a, probably going to be a little bit more difficult to manage that. Like, if you're in series, I wouldn't say let that game slide. But um, maybe... I don't know. Riot can figure it out. But, like, in that case, and then the second case, my second series, I had our jungler. He never connected to the game at all. He didn't come back until about 15 minutes in. And he did the stupid thing, like I mentioned before, this whole devourer thing. Now, I don't play Udi. I don't really know how he works. So, this guy, he um, he decided he wanted, he was like, oh, man, I need to go ahead and hurry up and get my devourer. And it's like 15 minutes in. Lane of phase is pretty much done. It was like pretty much ending. Every lane was losing because the jungler, their jungler just took advantage of the fact that we didn't have a jungler. It was all in our jungle. Ganking every lane. Everybody lost. <laughs> so by the time he got back, he's trying to rush Devourer. It's like, dude, he kept getting killed. First of all, he wasn't even trying to get Devourer in his own jungle. He kept going to the enemy jungle for some reason. I don't know why. So, he didn't end up getting sated until, like, 32 minutes in. And I'm sitting there because he's like, well, I need to devour, I need to devour. I'm like, bro, just go ahead and get, like, Cinder Hope or something and get Tanky. And he's like, you know, I need to devour, I need to devour. And then he got devour. I'm like, well, dude, congratulations, you got devour. Now are we going to win? <laughs> he didn't say anything. It was like, that really didn't make a difference because we got so far behind because he had died, like, seven times but yeah like I said we ended up losing that game and it's just so stupid because it's like I I just wish that there was some sort of system to combat against like these AFKs like I know there are people that AFK on purpose and they just sit in base or they just, you know even people like I said that may have a technical difficulty on their end I don't feel like the rest of the team should be punished because of that. So, you know, if they can implement some sort of system where it's like less IP, or not IP, less LP loss or loss prevented or, you know, something like, I mean, maybe not loss prevented. That, that may be kind of extreme because, like, I was, like, my boyfriend, she was, he was talking to me, he was saying, like, you know, well, people might abuse the system. It's like, oh, well, we're losing. Somebody could just go randomly leave. And I'm like, well, yeah, I understand that. But, I mean, no system's perfect. I'd rather have them go ahead and figure out a way to go ahead and and fix the exploit than continuously stay where I am as far as my ranking in bronze and like, <laughs> like I said, it's just been a struggle which is like so much just stupidity it's just I don't know it, it's just really frustrating because he's he was in bronze as well and he managed to get out he's in silver and he's silver too now he doesn't play nearly as many games as I do, but it's just, like, kind of annoying. Or not annoying, but just more so frustrating where it's, like, you know, I feel like I do put quite a bit of time into it. Now, he may do more as far as re reading up on patch notes. Um, he looks up, you know, new builds and um, looks up to see who's top tier right now as far as what champs are doing the best in their lanes, depending on what patches came out. 
<clears throat> excuse me but you know i i still think that i know the game fairly well that i can say that i don't belong in bronze so i don't know it's just it's just really frustrating because like if if i was if i was down here in bronze based off of you know my skill level just not being up to par okay i can i'll say okay fine i belong i belong in bronze but then it's just been so many games. Like I could probably say one out of five games have been lost due to a teammate feeding on purpose, a DC, someone trolling, just like just stupid stuff. And it's it's just it's really annoying. Like I just wish that they would come out with some sort of system to you know help help the community. Maybe the community like people in the community wouldn't be so. Um, I don't know. I don't know what what the word to use, but I wouldn't say it as angry. But I mean, there's gonna be like you know bad people in the community regardless. But I don't know. It's just something I was thinking about. Um, hopefully, like I said, Ryan can think of something. We can go ahead and get this together and help people like me move on up and uh, not be stuck because of you know other stupid people. <laughs> So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, and I will talk to you guys next time.